I've just launched my boat at uh, Cochrane in uh, at Grafton. Quite a nice place here, a really nice gum tree and a jetty. I just backed it in and it must have dropped off the end and uh, gave it a bit of a break and off it goes on its own. So I'll just have to uh, wait for it to come into the reeds there and I'll be able to step on board. Cochrane Path has quite a nice uh, jetty uh, to tie up on for a few boats. It's really nice here and uh, the local, it's obviously a local place for swimming for the uh, people from Grafton. At the moment I'm heading up river and this I'm just coming up to the Grafton Bridge uh, which has uh, got a railway on the lower deck and, uh, a, <coughs> and a road on the top deck. We're starting off our journey basically from the Crown and Robinson Hotel in Grafton. We're going to uh, follow the river down as far as uh, Yamba. I just, when I went up the high street they said that the uh, new Grafton Bridge there uh, budgeting 400 million for and you can see that this uh, bridge they must be uh, going to do it because uh, they haven't painted it for a few years so it's all rusty that's the lifting part of the bridge over there which I looking down the Clarence towards McLean. A very large boat there. Walking, walking up the high street. Yeah, there's a good boat ramp at Ulmara. Uh, I think if I was to come again, I'd maybe launch here because uh, there's a nice little park and uh, you could park your car outside the police station. This is uh, looks really nice here and there's a pontoon and a hotel on the corner and uh, when as the Clarence divides here this this island in the middle is the biggest inland island in the southern hemisphere There's a jetty here on the southern side. On the other side of the river there is a uh, 
a pontoon which you can tie up to and a nice pub where uh, local, uh, locals just told me you can get a get very good meal in the evening. These are uh, river prawn trawlers. There's a nice steel boat up there that must have uh, ended up there in one of the floods. Probably still waiting for the uh, for the next flood to get it back down in the river. I'm on the southern arm heading towards McLean. You can hear the cicadas. Most farms along this side of the river here have these gin poles, uh, which must have been for uh, when they used to have to uh, load the cane onto barges. This is the pontoon at uh, Ferry. Past an old Thunderbird, 24, my father built one of these in the 60s. In those days that was a very modern boat. The public jetty at uh, McLean has got power uh, and uh, it says 24, maximum tw stay 24 hours. It's very central in into the town and it'd be a very nice place place to stay. I'm not staying there today because I've got quite a bit of, of uh, I think the tide's going out and I've got quite a bit of tide underneath me at the moment so I'm going to carry on down to Yamba. At the moment it's just opening for a boat coming through.
there's a public wharf over here Hardwood, Harwood you'll see the trimarang just going alongside the sugar mill at Harwood got a good old uh, floating dry dock here southern side and uh, of Freeburn Island which is in the in the camera. I'm gonna head over towards the marina there and go round Freeburn Island and carry on up to Yamba. Along the main channel it was a bit rough with the tide going out in about 15 knots of South Easter. I decided to take this way because it's not so lumpy. It's 69 kilometers I've traveled from Grafton along the Clarence River. It's uh, very nice, some nice spots along the way. I think Elmara was the pick. I stayed there the night, it just happened to be where I stopped at about six o'clock. And it was a beautiful uh, pub there and uh, had a nice meal. 